Chris here from Cannibal Reviews and ThatDrunkAsshole.com and today I just wanted to go over a few items I've gotten in the mail over the last few weeks. Uh, this first one here is actually from Fright Rags and usually it's a pretty you know, happy day when you get your Fright Rags purchase but this t-shirt you know, kind of bums me out a little bit uh, because it's the James Harris Memorial shirt. Clearly Creepshow inspired. Uh, I just know James would have really, really loved this particular shirt. Uh, it, it just looks great. Just a really cool t-shirt and it was for a great cause. I also picked up a horror magnet while I was on Fright Rack's website. I'm a really bad impulse shopper so I'll always add like a sticker or something to my order before it's all said and done. Uh, moving on, I've got an enamel pen and some stickers from Candy Claw. So let me just show the stickers first because these are really cool and they were cheap. I want to say they were each like a dollar or so. This first one is a Return of the Living Dead sticker. And it's perfect that I haven't used these yet because I just had to buy a new laptop. That's the reason why uh, these more recent videos have looked so nice. My old laptop was just a hunk of shit. Uh, this next sticker is a mashup. It's a Street, Fri Street, Frider, Street Fighter and my pet monster. Love that. That one's a fun one. These next two I fucking adore. They are Ninja Turtle related. We have Bebop looking pretty grotesque. And these are really high quality stickers. Nice die cut. I really like these. These will look super cool on my laptop. Hey, Django. Sorry, my cat's trying to eat my stickers. Uh, this last one is Krang in a gumball machine. How can you not like that? I'm going to include a link down below, so if you're interested, you can pick up some of those. Uh, this last item from Candy Claw is an enamel pin, and I'm pretty crazy about this one. It's a mashup of Street Trash and Garbage Pail Kids, and you can see he's melting into the toilet, and he has a little bottle of Viper. That's super cool. I like the card as well. And this one is a double pin back and it actually has the locking um, backs on. These next two pins were ones that I found on Etsy. Uh, this first one, I, you know, I was kind of on a hen and lauder kick after Frightmare, so you'll see that more of that in my uh, upcoming DVD Blu-ray update. Uh, and this is another Elmer pin. And I really like the design on this one. It kind of looks like it was plucked out of The Simpsons or something. I like the colors. I actually think I like this one a bit more than the one that I got through Arrow Video. I like that one a lot, but I really like just the cartoony nature of this one, and I feel like it, it fits the tone of the movie just perfectly. This next one, I really, really like. Uh, I'm such a huge fan of 90s Nickelodeon, especially Are You Afraid of the Dark and from Hope Sick. It's double pin back. It's a pretty big pin. It's solid too, it's pretty heavy. This one is just all about nostalgia for me. Moving on, these next two items are books that I picked up on eBay. The first one is The Vine That Ate the South. And this one is written by J.D. Wilkes, who is the lead singer of the Legendary Shack Shakers. If you've never heard of Legendary Shack Shakers, they're a pretty wild band. It's like a weird mix of like folk and punk and polka and like psychobilly. They're like all over the place and just like in the best way possible. But he does a lot of the you know, lyrics, of course, and the artwork for the albums. And he's also a writer. This one is actually about southern lore and legend and vampires. He also does the illustrations in this book. And just to kind of give you an idea of the tone. It's it's very southern, it's pulpy, it's you know kind of gothic, very strange. Next one is a Hellboy graphic novel and it's one of the I think five that I needed to complete my Hellboy graphic novel collection. The reason why I grabbed this one was one it was like four dollars plus a few bucks for shipping but two I had you know read the news about the new Hellboy reboot they're gonna do and I'd heard that it's actually going to be based on this particular story arc. Alright y'all, that about does it for now. I will have a DVD and Blu-ray and toy update sometime soon. I've got some nerdy stuff. You can sort of see some of it behind me here. So if you liked the video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that cool shit. And until next time, have a good day.